Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do a paint with me Christmas edition video. In one of my previous videos, I had mentioned that I was going to split up these painting videos and today we're just gonna do some miscellaneous kind of Christmassy watercolors. And as you can see here, I am starting off with just some jagged kind of branches, nothing too uniform, a little free flowing. And then we're gonna dip into some paint. I think I'm using a number six Princeton brush here, uh, which is, they're my favorite brushes for watercolor. And then you're just gonna take a little bit of paint and then you're just gonna start flicking it off towards, um, towards the ends, towards the outside. And I didn't like that first color. It was a little too, had too many yellow undertones. So I went back in and I added a little bit of blue to my color green. It gives it a bit of a cooler, cooler color, which I prefer, especially in these kinds of pine or fir or spruce needles it's gonna be a little bit cooler if you have too much yellow in it it's gonna end up looking tropical even if you don't want it to look tropical so yeah you just take um, I took a little bit of red here and we're just adding little berries to this branch there's really no rhyme or reason to where I'm adding these I just thought that some berries would look nice. And then I leave a little space, like a tiny little dot of white in the berries to make it look like a little shiny reflection in it. All right. So I think I'm gonna move on to the next painting here. And we're gonna just do a loose kind of wreath and um, Again, there's really no specific pattern that I had here. I just, I figured let's add some pine cones. So you're gonna start off with a really light wash of color. I think I used almost like a mustardy yellow with a little bit of brown color. And then I just started flicking out the paint around the Kind of circle that I gave myself to start with and then I just started adding some extra foliage and leaves around the circle and I like to start with a really light wash of paint for the first layer when I know that I'm gonna do several layers because it gives the it gives the watercolor some depth and dimension And here you can see I'm just starting to add some darker shades. The lighter shades in the back are gonna help it to look like shadow and that it's further back. And then the more intricate you make the front, it's gonna appear closer to you, especially if it's darker as well. So it just adds some depth. Here I'm adding a little bit of shadow to that foli foliage that I added earlier. And now I'm just making tiny little upside down <laughs> U marks, I guess is how I would describe it. They're not as, um, almost like W's, I guess, but they're not very like, they're not very strong. They're very flat kind of shapes. Not, not too perfect or precise because, you know, nature's not that perfect or precise. And it's really just, because this is very loose, it's just giving you the idea of a pine cone shape. Your brain kind of fills in, fills in the gaps. <laughs> it doesn't have to be super perfect. I think there I was just deciding where I want to have my berries. So I'm just adding onesie twosies to this. Um, I accidentally got a little green paint in my berry, but you know what? That's okay. 
no big deal. Here I'm just adding a little extra foliage. I'm just connecting the berries so they're not just drifting next to it. There you go. So I think here I'm pulling down, but a lot of the times that I'm doing this kind of pine needle-y type watercolors, I like to um, flick outwards instead of pulling in. It gives it a little bit more of a wispy end to it. Here I'm just adding a second layer to the pine cones because it dried kind of flat and I just wanted to add a little bit more dimension. And now I'm just adding a couple um, more brown colored foliage branches around the watercolor. Again, just to add a little bit extra dimension. Here I'm adding some details. A little bit more because, you know, the fuller the better when it's coming to a wreath. <laughs> and then now I think I'm just going to take out I'm just going to paint some little random branches with the pine needles on them. I'm just pulling out the paint. You can see that I'm starting and then I just kind of flick the tip out and that gives it that kind of nice wispy feel. A lot of those pine needles, if you notice the shape of the plant itself, the middle is usually longer and then the sides kind of taper in a little. So just keep the shapes in mind whenever you're doing that. Otherwise your plants can end up looking tropical. Here I just made two little holly leaf shapes. And I'm just adding some more wispy pine needle type branches. I'm just doing different varying lengths and different um, thicknesses just to have options. I'm going to digitize these and put them in my newsletter. I send out my newsletter with free desktop calendars every month and I usually kind of do a theme for the month and you know December is kind of easy. <laughs> Christmassy vibes, wintry vibes. I think by the time you guys see this video, I will have already digitized it and maybe even released it. So if you guys want this watercolor uh, desktop calendar that I'm going to create using these watercolor patterns or watercolor digital little foliages that I create, you can download that below. Here I'm just adding a little bit extra, uh, extra layers to everything. It's sometimes called glazing when you're doubling up on colors like that. But, and then here I'm just taking a little bit extra and you know I can tell on camera now that that color is just too yellowy green. I really should have added a touch more blue. But that's okay. I can always edit that out in digitally, which is kind of nice. Here I'm just adding a couple more berries and leaving a little white space on them again for that hint of shine. And we're all done. So we're all done guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you'd like to download the watercolor calendar that I created, it's in the description box below. If you'd like to see more videos like this, uh, please subscribe and if you like this video, click like. Alright guys, thank you so much. Bye.